Okay, let's talk about something today. Now there's a lot of um, gimmicks out there, gadgets, um, people trying to sell you things and trying to tell you things that's just not correct. Let me tell you something right now, and I've talked about this many times. If you really want to improve your game, you have to work on your swing path. Once you improve your swing path, you can play anything. Blades, cavity backs, uh, clubs from the 80s, clubs from the 90s, new clubs, old clubs. It doesn't make a difference. You can play on hard pan. You can play on soggy conditions. You can play in windy conditions. Once you improve your swing path, that is the first thing you should always work on. You can look at my playlist under swing path, and you'll see some tips under there. But I'm going to go through a little couple of drills today and just tell you the importance of it. Everybody that knows me knows that I'm all about getting my clients to play the best golf that they can possibly play. And the way we do that is by improving their swing path. I'm going to give you a swing path drill that I've done before in the past. And the people that stick with it, they're playing better golf right now. They email me all the time and let me know. So follow these tips I'm going to give you. And you're going to be on the road to playing great golf. And it's going to work with every club in your bag. Okay? first thing let me tell you about is that you need a foundation and our foundations is the letters of golf if you get your Y and your L correct you have a great foundation your Y and your L you're in a, you're in a great position for a great swing path from there the next thing I want you to think about is a NASCAR racetrack when you're coming around that bend that's the same way we swing we swing from inside the square back to inside, just like we round in that NASCAR turn. And if you just focus on those awarenesses, your game's gonna go to new heights. And just take your time, hit some wedges, nine irons, eight irons, and work through your bag, just on those awarenesses right there. It's gonna make a world of difference. But remember, it starts off with the foundation, the letters of golf. That's all I'm doing, making my Y's, making my L's, and then I feel myself coming around that racetrack. Okay, let me give you a couple of swing trip tips. What you can do, and you don't even have to hit balls like this, but you can practice it. So here you go. I'm going to use this T as a reference point. So I'm going to swing. I'm going to hit a draw, straight shot, fade. Okay? have those awarenesses now, okay? All right. So here you go. And I sit up here and do the same thing. I hit a draw. Got that on the bottom two grooves, but it still drew. All right. Straight shot. Straight as an arrow, and then a fade. Okay, another way you can think about this is thinking about how you play a ping pong. If you play a ping pong and you want that ball to hit in that square and bounce one of the ways, what type of spin are you applying to the ball? Another, that's one of the good things about once you improve your swing path, you can start controlling your ball and you don't become a captive to the golf course no more. You're actually controlling your ball around the golf course. 
making a video. <laughs> so okay, your swing pad. And like I said, the foundation is gonna be the letters. As long as you have that L created, once you have that, your swing path is going to be correct. You don't, you're not snatching it way out here in the inside, and you're not going way out here to the outside. Because if you have to do, if you do any one of those, you can play golf that way. I know there's guys out there on tour playing that way, but they have to reroute and drop back inside to attack the ball. That way they have an inside to square to inside swing path. There's not a player on tour playing with an outside or over the top swing path. They wouldn't make it. So go ahead and build your letters. You have your Y, and you have your L. That gives you a foundation now, okay? You sit up on it again, and then think about that NASCAR track when you're coming around that corner. You come around that corner, you come in it with speed, and then you leave it with speed, okay? Inside the square to inside. Let me get a few drivers for you. How you doing? Okay. It's going to be the same principle with your driver. A lot of times we get the driver in our hands and we think we got to do something different, but we don't. Remember, the swing goes from hip to hip, all right? From 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock, all right? So it's the same thing. I'm still going to make my Y's and my L's, and I'm thinking about that racetrack, coming inside the racetrack on that NASCAR turn. I don't know if I can hit it any better than that, but it's the same principle. Even with your long irons, you're still going to make that Y to L, that L to the Y, back to the L, and you're thinking about that inside swing path, coming around that NASCAR turn, okay? Let's hit one more. It all starts with a good foundation. I don't know what I have there with that one. I lost that one in the sun. Let's hit one more. I lost that one in the sun. Okay, I'm going to set up for a draw on this one. All right. Now I'm going to start it out here to the right and try to draw it back around. It started to the right, but it kind of just tailed off and went straight as an arrow. I'm not going to complain about a straight shot. Do it one more. Let's we'll see if we need a cut shot. A cut shot for me is not my easiest shot to hit. There we go. Cutting right back around. About two yard, baby, a little fade. So remember. You gotta build a foundation. The foundation is gonna be your Y to your L. That's gonna give you the ability to make that swing path and correct it. Once you improve your swing path, you, in, you improve your entire golf game. Then you can start adding the black belt level things that we talk about. Pressure awareness, um, working the ball, knockdowns, going up over trees and all those type things. But you can't do none of those until you improve your swing path. Take care, folks. Keep grinding.